What's up YouTube? This is Cobra Timmy and I'm here to show you another episode of In the Wild Finds Episode 2. Uh, this is the versions of thrift stores, uh, garage sales, uh, basically anything out in the wild that I've gone out and found. Uh, this stuff was done back the week that I went camping last month. Uh, for people that know me on the divers page or you know personally on my Facebook page I've been ranting about not having internet here and I believe we just got it fixed I've had internet down for on and off which majorly is down uh, for the past three to four weeks and now I'm finally confident where I can get videos done and uploaded without any issues uh, the only problem is as of today uh, it is 5 30 on a Friday that I am about ready to go camping at once I'm done with this so these videos won't post probably till when I come back um, but just so everybody knows these are coming out as fast as I can uh, but let's get going with this uh, I'm glad to have the internet back so I can provide you guys with some more footage um, these again garage sale from the last time I went camping uh, and actually a couple of these were from earlier last week late last week excuse me I was thinking it was this week but it wasn't uh, so I just made it all in one video I did shoot this once but there's part of this that I had issues with that was not working and now just tinkering with it before I started this video I got it working again so now it's back in this video so let's get started uh, the first thing I got here uh, I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got from one uh, this is from the camping trip uh, this stuff here uh, I picked up these two Genesis games the wheel and the piece here and that I'll explain here uh, last year I got a bunch of Sega Genesis games in a clear bin. Uh, I believe I showed them all on camera and actually I showed the bin too. Uh, got them for a decent price. This was the same guy. He has a garage sale every year I guess. He had a bunch of games, Xbox. Uh, don't know what other consoles but I just remember Xbox, the original Xbox games he had. Uh, I was late to it because we didn't I didn't make it out to the campsite that day until Saturday and he had his garage sale going Thursday that week so I missed out on a couple days which he said the games all sold first day but this is all he had left so I picked him up to add to my Genesis collection uh, NHL 94 and NFL quarterback club uh, then he also had this uh, original Xbox wheel and I say it's original Xbox because you see it's got the plug for the original Xbox I uh, haven't tested it yet so uh, but for the deal I got for it I can't complain uh, then non gaming related as I set this off to the side uh, I got this as kind of a gag joke uh, it's a um, I don't know if you can't tell what it is, it's a megaphone uh, for wrestling fans. Uh, the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart had one of these. Uh, he ran rapid with this thing. It was a weapon constantly in his uh, managerial run. Uh, but it was a gag gift because uh, back in June, my oldest niece graduated from high school and we had tried to make a competition to be the loudest people of the announcing um, member of their family and I said you know I should have went down to the store and bought one of these and then a week later at a garage sale I find one of these so I picked it up uh, I got all this stuff here the megaphone the wheel and the two games for seven bucks he basically wanted seven dollars for the megaphone and then he threw in the other two, basically the other three items. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I was having issues with this thing. It had battery uh, issues, like it was, it had leaked battery acid in it. 
um, but there's something there's an issue with this because at the max volume as you see I'm here in the middle uh, if you go way up here it loses the volume if you go way back here you will lose the volume but right here is when it's at its peak um, I'm afraid I'm gonna shoot this off it's gonna be loud hopefully it don't blur anybody's ears out so here we go this is a, it's got a little like music chime thing And then it also has like a uh, police alarm, which is kind of funny because I've been messing with this at the campsite with speeders. I'll sit there and blast that off when people are speeding. But I can also do this too. As I have a little handy little uh, hand uh, talkie. And you can also talk through the speaker part here. So... I'm actually happy this works because I'm going to probably take it up with the campsite again and have more fun with that. Uh, I had told Jody about this back when I first got it. Uh, and I was kind of disappointed because I wasn't able to do the video yet because it wasn't working. So now I'm actually pumped that it's working again. So um, anyways, to go on from that, didn't mean to keep going about that. Uh, I went to another garage sale, uh, I believe it was last Thursday. I was kind of upset because I went to this garage sale. They had listed games, uh, DS games. Uh, didn't say what else, just said video games. So I was looking and I'm like, man, hopefully I find some cool stuff. Uh, I ran across the area where the games were and right before I got to it, another guy walked up and grabbed... Uh, a bag of games and what it looked like to me from what I've seen was a Game Boy Advance. Uh, it was a purple one, I believe. Blue or purple? I believe it was the purple is what that came out. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really know the colors of them. Uh, but they had sold it. I uh, don't know what all the games were to it, but they sold it for $7.50. And I don't know how many games were with it, but I mean for a Game Boy Advance and some games... That's a hell of a deal. And I was kind of pissed because I didn't get it. But, you know, you snooze, you lose. If I was five minutes quicker, I could have gotten it. But, oh, well. Uh, I did pick up two DS games out of that. Now, since I've got the DSIs working, I can start collecting for the Nintendo DS. So, picked up two games for a dollar. Uh, got Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures. Uh, comes complete. I believe the manual is, except for the manual. So, but the cart's here, as you see. And then the other game I got was Super Monkey Ball Touch and Roll. Uh, both games, again, if I didn't say, they were a dollar. Uh, this one actually has the manual. So, this one is complete. The Lego one isn't, but I'm sure through my dumpster find, I know I have this laying around so all I need is the manual and I got it complete but they were really taken care of I believe they were adult owned because the one lady that I purchased these from she was like oh I like the super monkey ball game that I, you bought so you know small finds but it adds to the collection uh, more or less one gag gift inside with the deal as you see um, slim pickings here as I've gone to a lot of garage sales but I've done a lot of going in and walking out I haven't been as lucky as people around the area that are getting lucky finding stuff which is cool for them that is awesome but I'm just waiting patiently to find my uh, gem but you know I can't complain because I've gotten luck I got a lot lucky last year with a bunch of stuff that I got so this will end the in the wild finds episode two hope you enjoyed the video i uh, hope you like the storytelling i had hopefully i didn't bore you too much um so you know get out there and look guys there's stuff to be found and you know you'd be surprised what you'll find for cheap and if you build rapport with people they'll hook you up so happy hunting guys and have a good day peace out